Wait. Let them think they have the higher ground. Send in the infantry. Take their position on the higher ground. Welcome, movie lovers, to another exciting video on our channel. Can you guess which characters and elements from this movie has the most shocking twist? Join us as we unravel the unexpected turns that define these unforgettable personas. Let's dive deep into them. Characters Napoleon Bonaparte Metaphorically, Napoleon could represent the embodiment of ambition, power, and the pursuit of greatness. The French have a glorious peace and the best interests of Europe. He symbolizes the human desire for conquest, authority, and the unrelenting drive to achieve success at any cost. Napoleon's character could be seen as an allegory for the complexities of leadership, ambition, and the consequences of unchecked power. Josephine. My husband had more than one of And when his head was cut all his mistresses watched. Metaphorically, Josephine might symbolize the emotional and personal sacrifices made in pursuit of power and ambition. Her character could represent the price one pays for standing alongside a powerful figure facing the challenges and sacrifices that come with being in a relationship with someone consumed by ambition. Tsar Alexander of Russia. It would be my absolute pleasure and honor if I could call you my brother. There is no fear to call me brother. Alexander could be metaphorically interpreted as the embodiment of opposition or resistance to power. His character could symbolize the forces that stand against overwhelming ambition, representing the resilience and determination to resist domination or influence from a dominant authority. Royalists What is it that made you desert your troops in Egypt? Shh. Citizens. Metaphorically, the royalists represent traditionalism, old values, and the desire to maintain established systems. They could symbolize the resistance to change, clinging to the past, and opposing revolutionary ideas or movements that challenge the existing order. Military commanders and advisors. Well, I would think that his trade with England was more beneficial to him than his trade with France. And you have a British influence in the Russian courts. These characters could serve as metaphors for strategic thinking, counsel, and guidance. They symbolize the importance of expertise, wisdom, and the role of advisors in navigating challenges and conflicts in life's journey. Generals and Soldiers Generals and soldiers may symbolize different facets of determination, loyalty, and sacrifice. They represent the collective efforts, determination, and sacrifices made to fulfill ambitions or to defend beliefs, ideologies, and causes. Characters in Exile You have permitted three officers and twelve servants to accompany you into exile. Exile will be contained to the island of St. Helena. Characters in exile, such as Napoleon's banishment to Elber and later St. Helena, could serve as metaphors for isolation, alienation, or the consequences of overreach. They symbolize the isolation and introspection that come with being removed from positions of power or influence. Complexity and Scope 
We are being asked to pass a resolution forming a provisional government to three councils. General Bonaparte, Citizen Sies, and Roger Ducot. The story attempts to encapsulate significant events from Napoleon Bonaparte's life, portraying his rise to power, military campaigns, relationships, and eventual downfall. The wide scope of events covered adds complexity to the narrative. Historical Accuracy While the story draws from historical events, it may haze facts with dramatized elements, inaccuracies, and creative liberties. It's important to approach it with an understanding that historical narratives might not always align perfectly with factual accounts. Themes and Symbolism The story touches upon themes such as ambition, power, relationships, conflict, and consequences. It utilizes historical events as potential metaphors to explore broader human experiences and struggles. Characterization the portrayal of characters, including Napoleon, Josephine, military figures, and political adversaries, attempts to capture their roles within the historical context. However, the depiction might simplify or idealize their complexities for narrative purposes. Narrative Structure Mother, Josephine. Good to see you. Josephine, mother. Oh, it's Charles. This way. The story unfolds in a chronological sequence, presenting events from Napoleon's life. The narrative transitions between military conquests, personal relationships, political intrigue, and Napoleon's eventual exile, aiming to provide a comprehensive overview. Emotional depth. What kind of creature are you? How could you care so little for me and my feelings? The story touches on emotional aspects, such as Napoleon's relationship with Josephine, his ambitions, and the consequences of his actions. However, due to the expansive scope and historical focus, emotional depth might be overshadowed by the breadth of events. Purpose and Perspective Are there limits to what I can tell you? There shouldn't be. The story seems to offer a glimpse into Napoleon's life, emphasizing his achievements, struggles, and the complexities of leadership. However, the interpretation and portrayal of events might vary based on different historical perspectives or biases. Napoleon's rise to power and fall from grace. Metaphorically, Napoleon's ascent to power and subsequent downfall could represent the arc of ambition and its consequences. His rise to becoming emperor mirrors the ascent of ambition, military prowess, and leadership. Conversely, his exile and downfall could symbolize the cost of unchecked ambition, the fragility of power, and the eventual fall of those who seek too much. Napoleon's relationships, particularly with Josephine. When are you going to end the wars? Oh, isn't that wonderful? The, only woman that I've ever loved. the relationship between Napoleon and Josephine could serve as a metaphor for the complexities of love, ambition, and sacrifice. Their inability to have a child together could symbolize the void or unfulfilled desires within their marriage, despite their deep emotional connection. Military victories and losses.
Napoleon's military conquests and defeats could be seen as a metaphor for the highs and lows of life's battles. His successes represent triumphs and achievements, while his failures symbolize the challenges and setbacks encountered on life's journey. The Uprising and Conflict with Royalists People of France, don't be fools, there are more of us! We will occupy this convention! The conflicts between Napoleon and the Royalists could be interpreted metaphorically as the struggle between old and new ideologies. The clash between revolutionaries and Royalists symbolizes the tensions between tradition and change, highlighting the societal shifts during that period. Napoleon's Exile You are right. Every night I beg to see you in my dreams. The exile of Napoleon to Elba and later St. Helena could metaphorically represent the isolation and consequences faced by individuals in positions of power when their authority is challenged or lost. It could symbolize the loneliness and isolation experienced when someone falls from grace. The Devastation of War The battles, destruction, and loss of lives caused by Napoleon's military campaigns could serve as a metaphor for the destructive nature of power struggles and conflicts, emphasizing the human cost and devastation wrought by war and conquest.